So good day guys, our topic for this day is about ratios, rates, and proportions. A ratio is the comparison of two quantities with the same unit. A ratio can be written in three ways. First, as a quotient or fractions in simplest form. Second, as two numbers separated by a colon, so yung dalawang tuldok. And third, as two numbers separated with the word two. Note, ratios are unitless. When we talk about unitless, no units. Example, write the ratio of 25 miles to 40 miles in simplest form. What are we comparing? Of course, miles. So we have 25 miles to 40 miles. So we have 25 miles all over 40 miles. So units like factors simplify, divide common units out. So ikakancel po natin yung unit ng 25 miles and 40 miles. So ang gagawin po natin is ikakancel po natin yung units ng 25 miles and 40 miles. So we have cancel miles. So matitira po is 25 all over 40. 25 and 40 as a common factor of positive 5. So 25 all over 5 is equivalent to 5. And 40 divided by 5 is equivalent to positive 8. So 25 all over 40 is equivalent is simplified to 5 all over 8. So the ratio is 5 all over 8 or 5 semicolon 8 or 5 to 8. So next example, write the ratio of 12 feet to 20 feet in simplest form. So what are we comparing? Of course, feet. So 12 feet to 20 feet. So we have 12 feet all over 20 feet. And then units like factors, so we need to simplify or divide common units out. So ikakancel po natin yung feet. So we have feet and feet, so makakancel siya. So we have 12 all over 20 and 12 and 20 as a common factors of positive 4. So 12 divided by 4 is equivalent to positive 3 and 20 divided by 4 is equivalent to 5. So 12 all over 20 can be simplified to positive 3 all over 5. So the ratio of 12 feet to 20 feet is 3 all over 5 or 3 colon 5 or 3 to 5. So next example, write the ratio of 21 pounds to 7 pounds in simplest form. So what are we comparing? Of course, pounds. So 21 pounds to 7 pounds. So we have 21 pounds all over 7 pounds. So the unit like factors simplify. So we need to divide common units out. So ikakansol po natin yung pounds sa 21 and 7. So we have 21. So makakansol po yung pounds. So we have 21 all over 7. So we need to simplify. So the common factor of 21 and 7 is positive 7. So 21 all over 7 is equivalent to positive 3 and sa ating denominator 7 divided by 7 is equivalent to positive 1. So therefore, the ratio is 3 all over 1 or 3 colon 1 or 3 to 1. So what about rates? So a rate is a comparison of two quantities with different units while in ratio is the comparison of two quantities with same units while rate is the comparison of two quantities with different units. So the rate is written as the quotient or fraction in simplest form. So note, rates have units while in ratio doesn't have units. So example, write the rate of 25 yards to 30 seconds in simplest form. So what we are comparing, of course, yards to seconds. So 25 yards to 30 seconds. So we have 25 yards all over 30 seconds. So units cannot simplify since they are different. So we need to simplify 5 yards all over 6 seconds. Why? Because the common factors of 25 and 30 is positive 5. So in numerator, 25 divided by 5 is equivalent to positive 5 and denominator is 30 divided by 5 is equivalent to positive 6. So, the rate is 5 yards all over 6 seconds. Next example, 
write the rate of 140 miles in 2 hours in simplest form. So what are we comparing? Of course, miles to hours or miles in hours. So we have 140 miles to 2 hours. So 140 miles all over 2 hours. So units cannot simplify since they are different. Of course, hindi magkaparehas ang miles and hours. So we need to simplify 140 and 2. So the common factor of 140 and 2 is 2. So, so we have 70 miles all over 1 hour because 140 and numerator is divided by 2 which is equivalent to positive 70 miles and 2 hours and our denominator is divided by 2 so we have positive 1 or 1 hour. So therefore, the rate is 70 miles all over 1 hour or 70 miles per hour or 70 mph. So, Notice the denominator is positive 1 after simplifying. So next is unit rates. So what is unit rate? So a unit rate is a rate in which the denominator is positive 1. So katulad siya sa, in, sa ating previous example which is 70 miles per hour. So yung ating denominator is 1. So once the denominator is 1, then that is unit rate. So the 1 in the denominator is dropped and often the word per is used to make the comparison. Example, miles per hour or mph. And next is miles per gallon or mpg. So in our example, write as a unit rate 20 patients and 5 rooms. So what are we comparing? Of course, patients and rooms. So we have 20 patients and 5 rooms. So 20 patients all over 5 rooms so, units cannot simplify since they are different. So, simplify. So, the common factor of 20 and positive 5 is 5. So, we have 4 patients all over 1. Why? Because 20 patients divided by 5, which is our common factor, is equivalent to positive 4. And then, 5 divided by 5 in our denominator is equivalent to 1 room. So, the rate is 4 patients and 1 room. So we have 4 patients per room. So next example. What about 8 children and 3 families? So what are we comparing? Of course, children and families. So we have 8 children and 3 families. So 8 children all over 3 families. So units also cannot simplify since they are different. So how do we write the rate with a denominator of 1? So we need to divide top and bottom by positive 3. So we have 8 children divided by 3 all over 3 families divided by 3. So 8 all over 3 children all over 1 family because 3 divided by 3 in our denominator is equivalent to positive 1. So, so 8 all over 3 children is also equivalent to 2 all over 2 children and mixed fraction and all over 1 family. So therefore, the rate is we have 2 and 2 third children and 1 family or 2 and 2 third children per family. But note na wala po tayong 2 third na children. Hindi po natin siya pwedeng hatiin but ito is just an example. So what about proportions so a proportion is the equality of two ratios or rates and if a all over b and c all over d are equal ratios or rates a proportion then a then then a all over b equals c all over d is a proportion in any true proportion the cross products are equal so we have a all over v is equivalent to c all over d so we have a cross multiply to d and b times c so we have a d and b c so yun guys thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel